With Stebbings Car Superstore, we're sure you'll find your next car. From the Kings Lynn News Centre, I'm Tristan Hunkin. The future of a vital community centre in West Norfolk has been secured after getting a big lottery grant. The North Lynn Discovery Centre is getting £350,000 over three years. There have been doubts over its long-term future, but the funding will provide more opportunities for young people. I think we have to be um, honest with the fact that um, in the past few years there's been very little money invested in uh, services for young people so I think what this is going to do is it's going to change some of the outcomes for young people um, it's going to show what we can do in West Norfolk and how we can make a difference and I'm hoping that the rest of the council and other funding bodies uh, will follow suit and um, see that, that it's worthwhile and makes sense. The North West Norfolk MP has told KLFM he doesn't think Andrea Leadsom was ready to be Prime Minister. Theresa May is now the winning candidate and will go on to be RPM on Wednesday after Mrs Leadsom stood down from the race. Sir Henry Bellingham reflects on the result. Members will be sad not to have a final say. I think those people who voted Brexit will be slightly nervous but they're getting at someone who was on the Leave side. I think Theresa May has got to really show very clearly, very quickly her plan for Brexit. That's going to be crucial. On the plus side, we're going to get someone really experienced in there very quickly. MP for South West Norfolk, Elizabeth Trust, says Mrs May is the tough, capable leader that this country needs to steer us through as we leave the EU. A revolutionary bladder treatment which is helping to change patients' lives has resulted in an award for staff at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital in Kings Lynn. The Brancaster Outpatients Unit has been awarded a Centre of Excellence. With your news first, this is KLFM. With Stebbings Car Superstore, we're sure you'll find your next car.